top five. Johnny drives way down in the corner, gets back in the bumper of him, tries to loosen the car up, but uh, Darnell's got what it takes to stand on the gas, get back off the corner. Darnell in that Ruolo Brothers car having a phenomenal run once again. But let's not forget, this is the dude out front, the final lap for Joey Miller. Joey's got it. Good lap, 31-20, last lap. Uh, man, I've, I've lost my money, I'm telling you. I don't know. Wrong bet, bad bet, but uh, unless we have a caution here with a half a lap to go, Joey Miller will be at victory lane. Miller goes around Burt Ingle. Miller on the front stretch. Joey Miller rocks the Music City as Darnell and Leonard get into the wall on the final corner. Oh, man. Great. Would have been a great finish for Leonard and Darnell there. Just got hooked up and got together. Wow, as it says on the hood of Darnell's car. Battling for spots in the top five. Darnell, you just saw him through his front windshield, through the steering wheel on that front windshield. But congratulations to Joey Miller and that Hagen's Racing Country Joe Holmes team. Another victory here in Nashville, his third victory of the year, and he gains a bunch of spots, a bunch of points, rather, on leader Frank Kimmel. Joey did everything right here today. I'll tell you, uh, you know, he had the big point spread when Frank went out, and he had to be careful but, uh, that he didn't. didn't he would, needed to finish this race, and he did what he had to do. Here's what happened. Oh, Leonard just gets into the back of Darnell. No other way to call that one. Oh, man, that's a tough break. Darnell obviously not very happy with that situation.